Hello everyone! Today we'll tell you what happened to our beloved actor Peter Falk, who's also known for his role as Columbo. There's barely a person who's never heard of the charming detective. However, the actor starred in more than 200 projects during his long artistic career. Peter has many prestigious awards, as well as millions of fans all around the world. The actor was born on September 16, 1927 in America, but his great-grandfather emigrated here from Russia in the late 19th century. Peter did not plan to become an actor, despite the fact that during his school years he took part in school plays. Peter had many interests. He was fond not only of art, but also sports. After graduating from college, he tried to join the United States military, but because of the artificial eye, he was not accepted. At the age of three, Falk's right eye had to be surgically removed, because of a malignant tumor called retinoblastoma. For the rest of his life he wore an artificial eye, which however did not stop him from achieving success. After a year and a half of serving in the Navy, Peter Falk returned to New York and went to university to study literature and politics. In 1951, after graduating from the Institute of Social Studies, the young man received a bachelor's degree in political science. In 1960, the actor decided to leave the stage for the cinema and moved to Los Angeles. The first feature film with Peter Falk was The Murder Incorporated. For this role, the actor was nominated for an Academy Award. However, it was his role in the TV series Columbo that brought the actor worldwide fame. He embodied the character so vividly and accurately that many viewers firmly associated the actor with a shrewd detective in a crumpled light cloak. Columbo has been on the screen for over 35 years and during that time collected four Emmy statuettes for the best male actor. The series was filmed from 1968 to 2003, with a break in production from 1978 to 1988. Then the filming started again. Columbo was different from other film detectives, both in appearance and manners. Behind his facade of simplicity and naivety, he concealed a sharp detective mind. And behind his seeming absent-mindedness, total concentration and the strictest logic. Columbo used to smoke cigars, and Peter Falk had the same guilty pleasure. I love smoking, the actor said. A cigar makes you very manly, much more so than a cigarette. He smoked for nearly 60 years, and so did his mother, still going strong at 92 years old. In addition, the actor liked literature and wrote an autobiography. When it came to choosing the title for his book, Peter went for a phrase that Columbo would often utter. Just one more thing. Stories from my life. The actor was married twice, the first time to his classmate Alice Mayo, with whom they adopted two girls. One of them became a detective and the other one a psychologist. The second time Falk married the actress Shara Dennis, his co-star in Columbo. The couple lived in harmony for the rest of Peter's life in their house in Beverly Hills. Sadly, as the actor was getting older, his health was rapidly deteriorating. After doctors diagnosed Peter with Alzheimer's disease in 2007, the actor's daughter Catherine and his wife Shara were engaged in a court battle for custody rights over Fork. As a result, Shara took over all the duties in caring for the actor, and Catherine was given the right to visit her father once a month. A few years prior to his death, it was impossible to recognize Fork. He turned into a demented old man who always mumbled something to himself and wandered the streets aimlessly. He did not recognize his wife and daughter, did not know for sure if he's eaten today or not. But we'll always remember him as we saw him on the screen. A smart and ironic police lieutenant in an old-fashioned coat, with his trademark cigar and sarcastic short-sighted eyes. Peter Falk died on June 23, 2011, at the age of 83, and is buried in Westwood Cemetery in West Los Angeles. And that is all for today. Please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Good luck, everyone!